Hey, I'm going to show you how I got this stupid Samsung Watch Face Studio program to successfully send a watch face to my watch. I have a Galaxy Wear 4, Galaxy 4 watch, that's what it's called, Galaxy 4. Um, and, you know, although this program is pretty nice, it allows you to create a watch face really quickly and it actually has a lot of interesting features for such a simple program. But getting it to upload to the phone, to the watch, is like near impossible, at least in any way that feels reliable or predictable. It's always having trouble connecting or something. So um, I've come up with a, a process that seems to work. And who knows, by the end of this video, maybe I'll, maybe I'll change my mind and give up on the whole thing. But uh, it's a little clunky because it involves a command line as well. But um, and and possibly hanging Watch Face Studio in the process of of building the the watch face. But Whatever, if it works uh, reliably, you know, every time, then I'm perfectly fine with doing the clunky version. So that's what I'm going to kind of document right now, and hopefully it works. First thing I'm going to do is get out of Watch Face Studio, and I do have to download uh, the Android SDK. And I think, I'm not sure, but maybe the command line tools were a separate download. We definitely need that because what we're interested in is this command called ADB. So if I just type ADB from the prompt, I've installed it, and I've made sure that uh, it's in my path, which you can do in Windows by um, just typing environment variables and uh, setting the path so that it includes um, wherever you've put the uh, Android SDK tools. So in my case, uh, I've got path here. I would hit edit and make sure it's there, which it, in my case it is. Platform tools, latest Windows is, yeah, so platform tools. So... Um, I know it's in, in the path because I can just type ADB. Also, there's, um, uh, if you go to, let's try that again. If you go to where Watch Face Studio is installed under, or at least it's, you know, it's not where it's, in, I'm not sure if it's where it's installed or if some of its data is installed there, but if you go into your home folder, app data, local programs, Watch Face Studio, uh, tools, window, um, you'll see that in here there is an adb.exe. So if I just type adb.exe dash dash version, I can see it's version 30 point something. Now, if I go back to um, my home folder and type adb version, whoops, I can see that it's at 36. So it's much newer. So I'm not sure if you need to install the SDK, but it felt like it, in the process of trying to figure this all out, I ended up installing what is a newer version? I do know that if you want to publish to the App Store or the Play Store, I think this version 30 might be too old at this point. But in any case, it's working. So um, I can type ADB and something happens. So how do I actually make a connection to the watch using ADB? Let's see if we can make that happen. So uh, if I look at my watch, let's see if I can turn that on. Okay, there's the watch. So here, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, well, I'm going to unlock my watch. And uh, under settings, I can check to see, well, actually, before we do that, let's check to see if Wi-Fi is on. So it is in my case, but if I hold down on Wi-Fi, I could choose a Wi-Fi network. I have to turn it on. It probably isn't on. I mean, I think normally it's not on, and it, it does say that it's on only when it's needed. So it's possible that in this process of trying to make all this work, that uh, something stops, and it could be that uh, Wi-Fi has just shut off. So it's always worth checking that. If you go to settings and go all the way down to the bottom, you should have developer options. If you don't, you can Google how to make, make that show up. But under developer options, uh, we're going to go down to ADB debugging, make sure that's turned on, and then click on wireless debugging. And then turn on wireless debugging. Sometimes it'll say you're not connected to a network. Uh, there's a lot of back and forth to make it actually work. But as long as you're on Wi-Fi, it should say, are you sure? And you just say yes, allow. And uh, at this point, it shows you an IP address and a port. But that we're not caring about that just yet. So instead, we'll click pair a new device. And you can see here, after a second, it shows you an IP address and a port. So if we just go over here to the uh, command line, let's see if we can just make this bigger. Yeah. So um, if we type ADB pair and then put in the IP address 129.168.157, whoops, dot four dot one fifty seven in my case. And then a colon and the port number. What was that? 
Oh boy. Uh, okay, I'm not wearing the watch, so it keeps locking. Okay, so the port number is 42503. Enter the pairing code, that's 321075. And that's it, it says it's successfully paired. So what it does is go back to, goes back to that previous page where we originally saw the IP address and port, and now we're interested in that one. And what we're gonna do is type ADB connect, and well, I can just do this, ADP, ADB connect, and uh, put in this port that it shows here, 45343. And if you're wearing your watch, you'd probably hear a buzz right now and it shows that it's connected. So that's the actual the name of, there's my username and there's the name of this machine, this Windows computer I'm sitting at. So it should be okay. Now, if I just uh, go back to the home page, you see I've got like one of the default watch faces. Let's open um, Watch Face Studio. And what we should see is if we open, well, let's just make a new project. So we'll make a new, we'll just call it test. And uh, we'll add the simplest thing we can, which is just a, an analog clock. I don't know. That's it. So uh, what we should be able to do is hit run on device. And what it'll do is go through the 24 hours and check the watch. It, I mean, check the face over the course of 24 hours. You should be able to click your watch right here and hit run on device, or uh, I guess when you click on this, it'll just start running on device. Now, now it'll, it'll basically make a fool of me and it will actually work, but most of the time it doesn't. So it'll just sit there spinning. And I, I think probably that's what's happening here because it's such a simple watch face that probably it would have been done by now. So I think it's stuck. So um, let me get out of here and I'm gonna save this. And instead, I'm gonna go back into Watch Face Studio. And what I'm gonna try and do instead is open this watch face and try and get it to uh, build this project and then go back to the command line and use ADB to install it on the watch. So to build, there used to be, I guess, in a previous version of build menu option, but now we've got publish, which is actually trying to publish it to the Play Store, I guess. I'm not really sure, or at least creating the files needed for the Play Store. So um, what we want is an APK, and that's basically an application for Android. So now here, you will have to, um, let me see if I can just give it a new location, maybe under uh, downloads, I'll make a new folder called WFS. Okay, so that's where it's gonna, gonna save this. And then um, I'm gonna choose, instead of publish type AAB, I'm gonna do APK. And I do need a key store. So if you have, if it, I think normally, you know, you probably wanna create one. So I'm gonna create one. Let me just do it in the same place, just uh, under downloads, WFS, uh, and I'll call this key store. I think there's an extension that should go along with that, but whatever. Password, it has to be at least six characters, but I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what any of this is for. <laughs> uh, so, but I've just put one, two, three, four, five, six for all four of those. Um, I think probably it needs me to actually put some information here. Uh, let's see. And obviously this would be useful if you actually want it to be on the Play Store. So I'll hit okay. And it's created a uh, key store and it's filled in the passwords here. So at this point, I think I should be able to just hit okay and it should try and build the project. Now, I think normally for me, it freezes at 80%. I don't even know what that means. I think um, it's fine because what I'm interested in is going into the downloads folder and my WFS folder and looking at what's in there. So there is an APK. And I think I probably can use that right now, even though it stopped at 80%, I think I can upload that. And the way I do that is ADB install and the name of the APK. So it's uh, sending to the watch right now, hopefully. Doesn't look promising.
I'm unlocking my watch because I'm so confident that it's going to be successful. And there it says success. So uh, let's see, it hasn't changed the watch face, which when you do it successfully here, when you hit run on device and it's successful, the watch face just comes up. But in this case, it won't. So I'm going to hold down on the watch face and I think I probably just have to add a new watch face. And I should see way at the bottom, the one that I just uploaded to the watch. There it is, it's called test. I can click on it and this should be it. So it's pretty annoying. Uh, let me go back to the home page, just make sure it's working. It is working. Uh, so it's a little annoying that you have to go through all this, but it at least is successful to a degree, right? Because this is over here hung. I think probably the only way to kill it is to uh, close that window. Um, let's see, I probably have to just like close window. At least it says, hey, do you wanna save the project? Yeah, okay, oh, it crashed. But this does work at least. So this is a way uh, to get whatever Watch Face Studio watch face you've made onto your watch and I hope it works for you. If not, good luck.